what's up beautiful people but you know already by the title of this video you know will smith you know pretty much apologizing to chris rock for slapping him at the oscar but <laughs> oh let's let's check this out this should be a very interesting apology video instead you know you know how it is you know how celebrity are all right let's see <clears throat> Why didn't you apologize to Chris in your acceptance speech? That's a good question. Um, I was fogged out by that point. <clears throat> okay. It's, 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 it's all fuzzy. I've reached out to Chris, um, and the, mes the message that came back is that uh, he's not ready to talk. Mm. And when he is, he will reach out. Um, yeah, no, that's that's plenty fair, but dude, you slap me on national TV, you know? Everybody see constantly people gonna remind you of it. And one thing that I <clears throat> I've had issue with this the entire time is like pretty much the um Hollywood like people, like all the celebrities and things like that. I do not ever want to, you guys to hear about activism like violence and stop the violence, stop the killing, stop this, because when a man got assaulted pretty much on stage, you guys didn't do nothing. All you guys stand there, all right, and stood there. On top of that, when Will Smith gave his uh, acceptance speech for his uh, Oscar, guess what? You guys gave him a standing ovation and clapped for him. So I don't, I really, really never want to hear anything like that ever again because I do not want to see you guys do that because that's a lot of BS. Because when something happened in close pers um, close to you guys, like that, that close, you guys can't do anything. Instead, you guys, some of you guys went up and embraced Will Smith. Not Chris, Will. You know, some of you guys went there and tried to consult him. The guy that just got humiliated didn't get consulted. You know by nobody. You know, everybody's like, oh my God, yes. And then he gave the whole speech about he's a protector, he's this, he's that. Nah, man, nah, nah, that's egotistic, you know? You know, your ego was pretty much based on you. Your ego was out of the line. You know, you think you're bigger than that. Now you're not. Now you're not. To me, you don't seem like it. Um, ever since you know your your his wife stopped bringing out you know Jada and Jada keep bringing out stuff with him and their marriage, I just keep looking at Will Smith as like, oh, he's just a lost cause, man. <clears throat> so I will I will say to you, um, Chris, I apologize to you. Uh, my behavior was unacceptable, mm. and I'm here whenever you're ready to talk. You know, I'm, I made a choice <coughs> on my own, from my own experiences, from mm. my history with Chris. Jada had nothing to do with it. Uh, I'm sorry, but Oh my God. Okay. I, 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 I get it. Whatever. You're trying to save her. You're trying to save flight. But like, we all saw the video, you know, everybody was laughing, including you. But then, you know, Jada was not happy about it. She gave you the look and you got up and, and smiled. And smi On top of that, she did not even come out and back you up. She is like, she's been throwing you under the bus, bro. She has been throwing you under the bus countless time and you still are trying to protect her when she don't care about your feelings. That's why she takes you to a red table talk. That's why she takes you and uh, speak publicly about your guys relationship, but talk publicly about Tupac, you know, Jada don't care, you know, telling your, um, uh, having the audacity for your own child to pretty much write a letter to Tupac say, mommy and I miss you. I wish you were here with us. You know how insane that is? You know how insane, like, you know how crazy? You know how mentally, you know, I would be mentally messed up. Like if that ever happened to me, that ever happened to me. Right now, like you're pretty much, for the rest of your life, your cup, you're, 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 you're literally 
competing with a dead man. And it's hard. That's going to be hard. I can see in his face, man. This guy look tired. You look weary. You look, you know, pretty much sad. Oh, he can look like a defeated person. I can say something <clears throat> to my, my kids and, and my family for the heat that I brought on. All what about what about Chris's family? You know, what about them? You think you think your family is that? Uh, how about him? The humiliation that he suffered, you know, and his whole family has to sit there and watch that, too, and has to hear from other people about it, too. So what about him? Plus. Oh. What would you say to the people who looked up to you before the slap or people who expressed that you let them down? Mm. Um, <clears throat> so there's two things. One, um, disappointing people is my central trauma. Um, I hate when I let people down. Um, so it, mm. it hurts. Uh, it hurts me psychologically and emotionally to know I didn't live up to uh, people's image and impression of me. <coughs> the work I'm trying to do is I am deeply remorseful and I'm trying to be remorseful without being ashamed of myself, right? I understand and I get it, but at the same time, it's just one of those things you just have to, uh, you should have thought about it more, you know? You'll act on impulse. That is nothing is good. It's like pretty much when you get up and you do something like that, you hate anybody. If that was me, most likely my, my natural reflex is to stand up for myself and fight, you know? I'm pretty much, there's an aspect of fight or flight. I'm more of a fighter. When push comes to solve, I will fight. And that's it. I try not to. I try to avoid conflicts as much as possible because I know myself, if somebody come up to me and do anything like that, I am fighting. And there's no end if about it because I would do whatever it takes to protect myself. Whatever it takes. And, and I've gone through it and I've, I've been through it. I've been through it the worst. And you guys will never know. So I will fight no matter what I will fight. I've learned and I've been conditioned to be that way and it's okay. And I'm okay. And I see it and I understand. So the fact that you're saying that and you feel ashamed, um, how do you think the other guy felt? How do you think, you know, Chris Rock feel? Everybody look up to you. You know, everybody, everybody. I watched the show, you know, you were more larger than life, you know, seeing that, you know, there wasn't that many like black sitcom uh, during back in those days. So seeing something like that, you, Martin, um, that was, that was, those were the two pretty much I was um, watching a whole lot uh, because it just brings me laughter, happiness and stuff. But this just, it's just sad, like, you know, it's the fact that, like, when you, when they usually say you don't ever want to meet your hero, literally it felt like I'm, we're meeting you for the first time, and, and we've been meeting you slowly, like, on Rival, when, what Jada is doing to you, and what you're bringing out, like, to social media, the platform, and everything. We're just seeing you in a new light, and it's like we know it was fi it's like finally meeting our hero, and we're all just disappointed. That's pretty much what it is. It's disappointing. We hold it to a higher standards. We get it. But that, to act on impulse and go and go struck somebody on national television is beyond me. It's just beyond me. I'm human. And I made a mistake. And I'm trying not to think of myself as a piece of um, So... I would say to those people, I know it was confusing. I know it was shocking. Um, but I, I promise you, I am, 
uh, deeply devoted and committed to putting light and love and joy into the world. And, you know, if you, if you hang on, I promise we'll be able to be friends again. Ah, oh, man. I know there's more to this. Um, I've seen um, people post a longer version. I just want to watch the shorter version and just, like, have my piece of thought on it and see how it is because um, Abba and Preach kind of cover something uh, where it's talk about his brother and uh, Will Smith and Chris Rock. A brother were close. And, yeah, no, pretty much, you know, as his brother, he pretty much that you burned that bridge. Um you know, I've seen a clip of his brother talking. It's like, yo, I would have stomp on him. I would have did this and that, you know. So you pretty much has burned the bridge because the fact of the matter is like his fam Chris Rock family has to go through this humiliation. You know, your family has to go through this humiliation. So it's a lose-lose for everyone. I'm getting Chris Rock um, is selling our show even more now and stuff. Fantastic comedian, by the way. Fantastic comedian. But the the fact that that is something, it's just I don't know, man. It's just it put it put a a bitter taste in my mouth seeing this. It really does. It really really does. I I genuinely don't know how I I should say. I yeah. I probably find a link to the uh, full video and probably watch it later on. But I just want to see that little snippet and and see how things go. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.